So my name is Max Milner and I'm a UX associate here at Just Eat. Can you give a brief description of your job? What it is is um, trying to make the app and the website of Just Eat more usable and what I do specifically at the moment is research which involves speaking to participants about um, their experience of food and takeaways, learning what they uh, like and dislike, learning how they would like to order takeaways, um, and testing out versions of our app and designs which, which are coming out. What do you like most about the job? Um, what I like most about the job is that I get to um, try to figure out what people are thinking. Um, there's quite a lot of psychology involved in UX research. What's your general day-to-day -day like? Usually I have about one hour at the start of each day where I can just work on stuff that I'm working on. And that could be a deck of slides for something. It could be doing some analysis of some research that I've carried out or it could be various other things and then occasionally um, we carry out the research in the labs here so we invite participants in and um, and we we have a whole session for them it's usually about one hour and we test what, what we want to test with them in that session what did you study and why? So originally I studied biology when I was in undergrad. Um, and then I didn't figure out what to do with that degree. Um, so I worked in schools for about a year and a half as a, a teaching assistant. Went travelling for ages. <laughs> um, and then studied again. I went to uni to do a master's in human com computer interaction. I wanted to choose something where I could be creative and use evidence and be scientific. Um, and there aren't a huge number of options where you can be creative and also sciencey. So I started reading about UX, which is user experience, um, and figured out how I could become a user experience designer or researcher, and figured out that this was the course that I would have to do, and applied for it, but, and that's it. Um, and what would you tell yourself or a young person about having a stammer and thinking about their future career? I think I would say be open about it because usually people are really friendly and they're really understanding and usually actually and it can as well be an advantage in some ways I think back so I think the main advice would be to be open about it and don't let your stammer stop you from doing things don't let your stammer guide the choices that you make. Well, what would you say the biggest stammering achievement? In this job, I think, probably, is my biggest stammering achievement, which was my first um, round of, the, of running the research labs, which um, was about a month and a half ago. And you're in the room with participants who who were here who are from like an agency uh, and you have an hour with them and you're asking them stuff and you've got cameras on you and your whole team is observing you from another room and also from another office um, and obviously I was really really worried about it worried about my stammer worried about if if it would affect me um, in a bad way. But 
actually it went really well and everyone was really positive about how it was. So yeah, that's my biggest STEM achievement. How does your employer and how do your colleagues um, treat you and your staff? They're all really, really, really understanding. Earlier, if you're open about it, people react in a, a positive way. I suppose hardly anyone actually knows a lot about stammering, so people have questions and they ask you and they're happy to learn. Generally, people are all really, really understanding, really friendly, um, really nice about it. And then if your 13-year-old self could see you now, what would they think? 13 was a tough time, I remember, speech-wise. Um, I think my 13-year-old self would be quite impressed that even though I still stammer, I'm managing to do a job which involves a lot of speaking and presenting. Because um, I always used to think that to a to kind of do any of that, you had to figure out how to how to fix your stammer and to speak fluently, and that's not the case. You can do speaking jobs with a stammer, stammer, and it's not the end of the world. You can still do them well. It's not. It's not. It's not how you say stuff, it's the content that is important.